click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the concept of three phase. The previous video we have studied the single phase inverter. In this video we are going to see three phase inverter. When it the word use three phase, uh, what happened exactly how they get connected with a three different load or any number of load that we are going to see in this video. So let's have a look over the diagram. So here you can see the diagram where three inverters are connected. Now this is a three phase. Now previously what we have studied is a single phase. So there was only one phase was connected. Only one transformer was connected. Either you can go for a transformer or not. And the DC voltage is directly connected to the pair of SARs and diode. But here we are using a three different inverters and their terminals are connected in such a way that it will get connected to three different types of load. So this three phase whenever there is a high power application uh, is required or the different phase application is required that time we should uh, connect the device with a three phase supply. So if you look carefully for this diagram here you can see the input of the inverters are connected to positive and negative of the DC source. You can see this input I can mark this as a 1, 2 and 3 this is connected to the positive terminal whereas the second terminal of the inverter I will mark as a 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash this is connected to negative terminal of the DC voltage source so basically this is the DC voltage source which is given now at the output side you can see I have given the name 1 2 for the inverter 1 3 4 5 6 now here this is connected to the different type of load now you will understand this is what is a b and c so basically a is a load connected with one pair b is a different load and C is a different load and the one terminal of the secondary winding is connected to the neutral. Now if you uh, see this diagram in a in a different way your diagram will look like this. So basically you have the three phase that is A, B and C. So this is your secondary winding which is connected to point A point B and point C. Now this the naming convention is given so that it will be easy to understand while connecting to the load. So if load is a resistive you should have a three different resistors connected. So your winding secondary winding of point A will be connected to one load. B will be connected to one load resistance and C will be connected to one load resistance. This is how your connection will look like when you are using a three phase. Now why I am showing you this because whenever we will go uh, to see the working principle of a three phase inverter where actually pair of thyristor and diode will be connected at that point of time I am not going to show the whole diagram but I am just going to show you the point A, B, C. So you should know what is point A, B, C. The point A, B, C is nothing but this are the output of the secondary winding which are taken out from this this particular uh, secondary winding. So this is my secondary winding. This is the output this is the output of the inverter which is connected to the secondary winding so this is connected to load 1 this is connected to different load 2 and this is connected to different load C whereas this input is isolated you can see the input of the inverter or the primary windings of the inverters are isolated from each other they are not connected with each other but the output terminals A, B, C are connected with each other and their secondary winding a second terminal is connected to the neutral. So at the end it will look like this. So now depending on this particular understanding we are going to see the actual configuration where diode and thyristors are connected. Now uh, it doesn't require only SCR to be connected as a thyristor but you can use any other devices as a switching devices depending on the requirement but uh, SCR is a device which is mostly used and which 
used in a conjunction with a diode where diode work as a free willing as a feedback or device so we'll see uh, how they are connected together and what will happen if we are going with the three phase power supply how the current is going to flow uh, and how we are going to work with a which different SCR will be work in a which different mode that we are going to study in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.